Grade 7 Math, Analyze and Compare Data on Dot Plots, Lesson 11.1. We can use dot plots to analyze a data set. We can observe how the data is centered or spread across the line. We can calculate the mean, median, and range of values to help us come to valid conclusions about the data. An outlier is a value much greater or much less than the others. They can affect the range of the dot plots, but not the median. It makes sense to use the median to compare two data sets when the center gives a good description of the data or when there's outliers. So outliers are much greater, greater or much less. Okay, so that would be an outlier. It's way far away from the other data, isn't it? So here's our first example. People once used body parts for measurements. An inch was the width of a man's thumb. In the 12th century, the King of England, Henry I, declared a yard was the distance from his nose to his thumb in inches, with a straight arm. If 15 people were measured and these data values were the result, we would come to the logical conclusion that 34 to 35 inches is a yard, because that's where most of the measures ended up, see? And the dots are spread out with most at 35. There are no outliers, so it's not like someone's got a 24-inch arm. They're all basically right in this area. The data values start at 30 and end at 36. Start at 30 and end at 36. And most of the data is between 32 and 35. The mean, the average, when we total all of these numbers up, 30 plus 31 plus 32 plus 32, etc., we get 504, and we divide it by the 15 people that were measured, we get 33.6 inches as our mean, our average. The median would be the middle number. We would write these in order from least to greatest, and the middle number would be the median. It's 34. And the range is 6 inches. It goes from 30 to 36. We do 36 minus 30, and we get a 6, so the range is 6 inches. We can compare dot plots visually using their traits of center, spread, and shape. So here we have two of them. We have a 9 a.m. class and an 11 a.m. class. And out of 20 students who received an A on their math test from two classes, these are the scores they received. If we visually compare the shapes, the 9 a.m. class understood the material a bit more. We can see how over here by 99 and 100 is it's got more, see? And the 11 a.m. class, it's more around here, isn't it? If we visually compare the centers, the most common score for 9 a.m. was 100, and 11 a.m. was 96. And if we visually compare the spread, 9 a.m. is 91 to 100, 11 a.m. is 93 to 99, and 9 a.m. has a greater spread in scores. And the median allows us to compare the centers. The range allows us to compare the spread. We can also compare the data of two dot plots numerically by calculating values that are related to the center and spread. Then, outliers can affect the calculations. We compare the shapes of the dot plots. We can see this is kind of tall in the center here, and this one is taller at the end, isn't it? We compare the centers by finding the median. We write them from least to greatest, and we find the middle number. If it's an even amount of numbers, so we have 10 numbers here, 98 and 99 were in the middle, so we find the average of them. 98 plus 99 is 197 divided by 2. To get the average, we get a 98.5. And for the 11 a.m. class, we get a 96. There's 296 in the middle, so it's just 96. And we compare the spread by calculating the range with or without outliers. So the range for 9 a.m. is 91 to 100. We do 100 minus 91 and get a 9, so the range is a 9. For the 11 a.m. class, it's 93 to 99, so the range is a 6. We do 99 minus 93 equals 6. 
So our 9 a.m. median is 98.5, the range is a 9. The 11 a.m. median is a 96 with a range of 6. And we can numerically compare the dot plots. See? So we could visually do it or we can numerically do it. So I hope this was helpful and I want to give a shout out to Michael who found some errors in my math and I really appreciate that because I like to keep my videos accurate. So good job and thank you Michael for pointing it out to me. I really appreciate it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.